Am I the butthole for not caring about my dad's cancer diagnosis? Messy is F because I'm on mobile. For context, I, 30 female, am a product of my dad's infidelity. He lied to my mom about being single, they dated, he got my mom pregnant, she was given a heads up about dad's shadiness by one of her co-workers, my mom confronted him, and that was that. My mom took out a restraining order against my dad before I turned one because of his constant threatening to take me away, so I never met him and I've never been interested in doing so. Jump forward to 2018 and my mom told me she'd found my dad on Facebook and that they'd started messaging each other. She said he was looking forward to meeting me and that she'd set up a date for us to have dinner without asking if I was even interested in meeting him. I didn't feel comfortable being alone with my dad, but to avoid any drama with my mom, who lives with me, I caved and had dinner with him. It went well at first, but then he started bragging about all his money and his perfect daughters. It made me shut down and feel awful about myself. After dinner, he complained to my mom that I was unresponsive and didn't seem excited to meet him. Knowing my mom and her tendency to side with everyone else but her kids, I was given the silent treatment until I apologized. Apparently, I ruined his dream of meeting me by not welcoming him into my life with open arms. It's now 2021 and in the short time we've known each other, my dad has managed to make me feel like crap many times. The last straw was when he tried to guilt me for not contacting him every day when I'd explained that I sometimes go through low periods where I retreat and have very little contact with anyone. I know there's a name for it, but I've never been properly diagnosed because I was ridiculed at a young age by my mom for feeling depressed when I had no real problems, my dad refused to understand that it's for the sake of my mental health and said I just don't want to build a relationship with him. I cut contact with him after that because I don't feel like I owe him anything and I was tired of all his snide remarks about me. I was fine before we met and I certainly didn't need one more person in my life to please. I was done. A few days ago, my mom came to me crying about how my dad had just been diagnosed with cancer. Obviously, I feel bad for him because no one deserves that disease. But my mom now thinks I'm a monster for not crumbling to my knees in sorrow with the thought of possibly losing my dad. She's grown very close to him again over the past couple years, so she thinks he's this great person that was only trying to get close to his long-lost daughter, but she doesn't know how manipulative he was trying to be with me. My mom isn't speaking to me anymore and probably won't until I contact my dad. I don't want to invite him back in though. I'm sorry he's going through this difficult time, but that's about it. Am I a butthole for not caring the way I'm supposed to? Not the butthole and it sounds like it's time to cut contact with both parents. Find your own family that actually cares about what you want. Edit, wow I really didn't think this comment would get any attention let alone my first award. Thank you. Edit 2, this really was just a surface level thought, I don't know why I'm getting awards, but thank you so much. Because this is getting so much attention, I'll just quickly add that I don't say cut contact lightly. Boundaries need to be set and discussions need to be had. Communication is important. But the mother sounds pretty manipulative and a little space never hurt anyone an original poster should absolutely surround herself with people who love her and care about her. Mother will come crawling back if father dies. Be prepared and have a plan, original poster. I feel like she'll try to dump all her grief on you. Yeah. It sounds like mom has some fantasy that the sperm donor and her will get back together slash a happy family and live happily ever after because he's rich. There is a part of me wondering whether she needs original poster to suck up to father because inheritance. But that's a little far-fetched I think. I don't think it's that far-fetched. I would be interested in reading those initial FB conversations between them, considering she went from keeping him away at all costs to welcoming him with open arms. Sounds like she's still holding a torch for him and is imagining some kind of happy ever after for them. Yes. From a restraining order to good pals, I wonder how much money is in his back account. From what I can judge about the birth father's character, original poster wouldn't be getting any inheritance anyway, regardless of how much sucking up original poster does. That would all be going to his perfect daughters that had everything they wanted growing up. Except for a loving father whom people have a change of heart on deathbeds a lot of the time. I'd probably wait till it was terminal then go suck up. Possibly thrown in a fake grandbaby. But that's a butthole move. I don't think it's far-fetched at all. Not far-fetched. 
people are fairly base in their intentions. When it comes to greed, nothing is too far-fetched. Assuming original poster is in the US, cancer treatment is expensive. Given that, Ops Bio Dad has had an unknown number of children with an unknown number of others, it might not be worth the exposure to a toxic person to maybe inherit. Were I Op, I'd assume that Bio Dad will contribute in death as much as he has over her lifetime. Zero. Sometimes the things that seem far-fetched really aren't all that far-fetched after all. You might have hit the nail right on the head here. I would not judge original poster if she artificially sucked up to get that inheritance. Sounds like she deserves it. Also not the butthole. So much not the butthole. I don't know about original poster but personally, I'd be willing to play ball for the right price. Well he did brag about his wealth in the very first meeting with his daughter. I hadn't thought of that. You're probably right. People suck. Spoiler alert, they are already back together and having another affair. Not the butthole. A bit of distance from your mom might be wise for your own health. I'm sorry what? You don't really go from a 20 plus year solid no contact restraining order to super best friends overnight for no reason. This so much. My own parents divorced and spent many years intensely disliking each other and trying to see who could behave like a jackass the most, with my sister and me in the middle, yay, it took them years in getting married to other people and so on for them to finally reach a point in their lives where, even though they can be amicable towards each other you won't see them be best friends or anything of the sort. This 180 degrees turn of Op's mother seems really out of left field so I'd assume they got together way before they told her. Not the butthole of course and some distance from both of them seems the best course of action. I am assuming that since mom is so invested in original poster's dad and spending so much time with him, they are at least having an emotional affair and very likely more. It doesn't make sense to suddenly develop a close friendship with someone who lied to you, got you pregnant and then skipped out for 30 years unless there's another motivation. But then he started bragging about all his money and his perfect daughters. It made me shut down and feel awful about myself. I feel so bad for original poster. Clearly, money is important to her father. And he was so insensitive to talk about his perfect daughters to the daughter he abandoned? Unfortunately for original poster both her parents suck and are massive buttholes. They're not treating original poster like a person in her own right and to them she should just be another perfect daughter for her father. I like reading Am I the Butthole for the more light-hearted posts of Bridezilla's wanting people to cut slash dye their hair slash beards etc to get the perfect fits and you don't feel bad judging them but posts like this break my heart. Op is a real person with real feelings but she's being treated like a toy her parents get to play with. They've never asked her how this affects her and think she should just love them because they are her parents. Uck, I'd say more but I'd get perma banned. Op you are not the butthole. You had no say in how you were conceived. You had no say in how you were raised. All those decisions were made by your mother and father. As an adult, you absolutely have a say in who is allowed into your life. If you want to cut off your father then don't let anyone make you feel bad. He's already made you feel bad enough by being a crafty, deadbeat father as a child and you don't need to lower your self-esteem further by enabling him as an adult. Boundaries are a thing for a reason. They protect us and keep us safe. You have reasonable boundaries and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. If you let people walk all over your boundaries, your mental health will turn to crap and they won't care. Please take care of yourself X. This. I agree with all of this. Boundaries are healthy. If she isn't already sleeping with him again. They've done it once. There's thirst and then there's whatever the hell this woman is up to. I ain't saying she's a gold digger. It's the perpetual drama of the endless side chick. She's had 30 years to heal from knowingly participating in infidelity and instead, she jumped to his side, using her child as enticement, the very second he broke the restraining order to say hello. How little self-esteem do you have to have to do that? I'm never going to understand. Edit typo. I don't think she knowingly participated. Did I misread? The first time? Can't tell. 30 years later? With your ex still married. All on the affair partner. The first time, according to the mom's version of the event she didn't know but original poster probably heard that part of the story is hearsay from her so I'm taking it with a grain of salt. 
I don't think it matters either way though. Even if the affair wasn't an element of the story, forcing your children to interact with people who harass them is always going to be an ah move as a parent. I understand being tricked. Nobody owns a crystal ball, after all, and you don't know what you don't know. But when you've been used, lied to, and abused to the point you and your child need a restraining order. Coming running the first time he wants his emotional dick sucked decades later is really bad form. I'm honestly impressed that original poster is halfway sane coming out of this mess. It's not easy. My mom had a 20-year affair with a married man who pulled the same crap. Somewhere along the way, you just develop morals, and lose all respect for the parent who raised you. That restraining order probably expired back in the mid-90s. Those documents aren't perpetual. Other than that, both parents are despicable. I fully understand the legalities, and my figure of speech was very poorly chosen. You are correct. What I meant to imply was that he reached out to his old mistress as soon as the risk-reward ratio was satisfactory again. I will leave the old message intact for context but your comment is not badly placed at all. Fair enough and we're in agreement on the broader points. It's a terrible position those two people have put original poster in. You're very gracious I'm honestly amazed original poster is able to withstand this at all. This must be mind-blowingly painful. Edit typo. Most restraining orders only last a couple of years, and if he didn't break that one, it's not likely she'd be given a lifetime one. Yes, mother is manipulative as F2. At the least, living with mom isn't working out anymore, and original poster should change that. Bio Dad's attempts to establish a relationship didn't work out because he's a demanding and selfish jerk. No one would like that. Cancer wouldn't change the fact that she has no positive feelings for the man. Original Poster has no obligation to Bio Dad and should stay away. She's an adult and gets to make this decision, no matter what Bio Dad's dream was. If Mom can't respect her feelings, Original Poster should distance herself from her too. Pretty much precisely what I had written as a response. So. No need for me to post it. I'll just upvote this one. Just going to add to this. Distance from mom definitely, and I understand that you guys live together, original poster. And that may be for lots of reasons, COVID, financial, what have you. But just because you live together doesn't mean you have to speak to each other or anything. When I was younger, I lived with my mother and stepdad who I don't get along with. Let's just say I found many hobbies and spent the night a lot with friends and when I wasn't out of the house I tried staying in my room or hanging out with my dogs on the patio as to avoid my parents. There is a way to keep distance even if the situation isn't ideal. Just thought I'd put that out there for you, or anyone else who needs it. I would go so far to say his state of health makes absolutely no difference in Op's story. For real. Original poster is only the long lost daughter because of the mother on the first place, and it doesn't sound like she was anything special as a mother to begin with. This perfect response. Original poster has two big olas for parents and her low points might drastically improve if she goes NC with both. Not the butthole. Gonna jump on board this and suggest that you, op, maybe start looking at building a support circle to get through this. You have got a lot going on at the moment and I'm afraid it's probably only going to get worse. Looking up therapists and planning to speak to a professional about this craziness wouldn't be a bad idea. I wish you all the best in what sounds like a nightmare situation. Listen to this op, don't let anyone guilt or manipulate you, or threaten your mental health just because you share some DNA. Family are people who love and support you. You deserve better. Piggybacking off of this comment because it does nail it on the head. You are an adult woman and what your parents think or don't think about you doesn't really matter. Unless you are extremely financially dependent on your mom, I would think about going low contact or no contact with both of them. They clearly don't respect your mental health or boundaries. Their dynamic in itself sounds very unhealthy, why would she be so willing to have him back in her life after she had to take out an actual restraining order? If you can, I really encourage you to seek out counseling not just for this situation but also to resolve other feelings and get any help you might need. XX best effing this you can do for yourself is to cut out toxic people, family or not. I'm going to give you your second award. You are getting so many reward because you are absolutely correct. 
Her mother is toxic as well and literally is going to lose her only child over feelings she developed again to the person who originally lied to her many times. Not the butthole, but hun your dad isn't the only manipulator in this scenario, your mom is too. Best go less contact to no contact with them for a while. Edit. Thank you for the award. Deeply touched. Exactly. The mom is also being manipulated by the dad, you'd think she'd learn after the first time. I'm not going to lie, I think the mom is by far the biggest butthole and honestly sounds back crap insane. Dad's bragging about his money, mom's getting closer to him and now he has cancer, and she wants their daughter to reconcile. Yeah, definitely sounds like she's trying to get some inheritance. Although with mom's level of manipulation so far, can we really trust what she told original poster to start with? Dad sounds like a jerk, but was there ever really a restraining order or even any attempt for him to take her, or was that just a lie mom made up to poison the well if they ever met up without her blessing? Let me just say that just because a couple decades ago she had a negative attitude towards him, doesn't mean it doesn't change over time. I'm not excusing or siding with my. I have my own issues with my mom too. And but my mom hooked up with my dad again when I was 15. I don't know why she wanted us to visit him via train during our spring break, and it was weird. But, he was abusive towards her, was in prison while she raised me my first seven years alone, and wasn't even married for a month once they decided to separate. So, people aren't just one-sided. We're kind of complex. Feelings towards him could've crept up on mom, including the fact he's rich so maybe she's trying to get in on some of it, with their daughter being the ticket, and may not even have genuine feelings towards him. But yeah, my mom also had a restraining order on my dad when he was abusing her back in 97. Not saying that the situation isn't complex. I'm simply pointing out that Ops Post paints the mom as a very manipulative person, so it's possible the whole story of why her dad wasn't in her life could be fabricated, but now that the mom sees she can get something out of it, she's trying to mend fences. I brought that up in my response to Op, and got downvoted into oblivion. I pointed out how we have no idea what was said from mother to father and no idea what the father's side of the story is. I'm not so sure, I gathered that from Op, but the mother is definitely manipulating her. I don't think mom is being manipulated by him this time. It's been 30 years, this was an intentional and informed decision. Not the butthole. Does your mother live with you or do you live with her? Might be time to move. No one deserves the treatment you received not only from him but her as well. I am so sorry and hope you are eventually able to heal. Edit, holy cow. Thank you for my first award. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.